Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will make you not want to leave the home. Narcissistic abuse causes a feeling of great emotional pain and sadness from so many bad experiences. It leaves a lasting effect of emotional trauma on your personality to where you may find comfort and relief in your home. Because your home is a place of safety, it protects you. When otherwise you would feel like you're being chased or hunted or you would be experiencing great disturbance, confusion and uncertainty. So it gives you a sense of safety. It sustains your psychological well-being. And it may even help you to rebuild your trust in yourself and other people. Because it's a space where you can release the tension that has been inflicted upon you by the external world. Where people are otherwise demanding your attention and exploiting you. So your home shelters you from pursuit, danger and trouble. It allows you to regain control. Where you can then govern yourself and manage your own life. By making your own decisions. Which then helps to rebuild your self-esteem. When you're at home, it gives you time to self-reflect. And healing takes place in isolation. As you reveal and examine your own thoughts or certain information or sequences of events that might have occurred throughout your day and you engage in restorative practices such as mindfulness, meditation, self-reflection or speaking to a therapist so that you can engage with your own emotions and as you do this you may find that it develops your trust as you perform consistently well and you learn that you can depend on yourself through making intentional decisions in your home and because trust comes from within it may then make you more willing to trust other people when you are at home you can avoid triggers that are associated with past trauma because you're in a calm environment where there's no imminent threat. So now these triggers can be managed and understood rather than you being in reaction mode, which allows you to plan and direct your life as you wish without being under the control of another person and without restriction or interference because you're no longer having to anticipate triggers or emotional pain, which empowers you and reinforces your faith in your own capabilities as you begin to acquire insight into your own character. Your home sets a boundary between yourself and the external world where you can then set aside time to fulfill your basic human physical needs without interruption such as sleep, personal hygiene, dressing and undressing or even cooking a meal for yourself. Until you may then learn that boundaries are not restricting or limiting your activities, but that they are actually providing a release from situations where there would otherwise be no freedom of thought or behavior, because it gives you time to prioritize your comfort, health and happiness, where you can then assert your physical or psychological needs without having to feel like you're doing something wrong. Because you learn that a certain emotional boundaries does not mean that you're concerned exclusively for yourself, regardless of other people. It's simply a practice where you can take action to preserve or improve your own well-being and happiness, especially during periods of stress. Because when you establish clear limits, it improves your ability to process your thoughts and feelings and produce positive emotions which will then help you to adapt when you are confronted with adversity 
or stressful situations. The home allows you to connect to your authentic self because you can then introspect and acquire insight into your own character as you reflect on and connect to your needs, desires, beliefs, values, dreams and aspirations. But just because you're at home, it doesn't mean you have to be alone. You may choose to invite other people into your home, but even then, it's under your conditions, which helps you to direct the interaction as you are more conscious and aware. So you can then choose how and when you engage with other people. And by prioritizing your safety and comfort, it will improve the quality of the connection, which creates a more positive environment. But even if you're alone, you can still engage in positive activities, which will contribute to an atmosphere of harmony and optimism, where there are no negative feelings or animosity, which teaches you that external environments deeply impact your state of mind as your home reminds you of the important and lasting positive changes that can be made in your outlook and character through the encouragement and development of positivity, which contributes to your mental health and happiness and increases your capacity to withstand and recover quickly from difficulties. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.com. .co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.